don't call it cuffing. It's your girl Misha here. Hello, hello, hello. So you guys already know the drill. I am reviewing a new wig today, okay? And this is from Original Queen Hair, okay? I will go over all the details of this hair. I already have it on. I already applied my headband wig, okay? So this is easy on and off. If I look this way, I have a monitor now, so I'm just kind of looking. I gotta get used to, you know. <laughs> So, yes, I just want to get on here and give you all the details of his hair. So, before I get into that, I figure why not do a get ready with me, right? I haven't done a makeup tutorial on my channel as of yet, and I am dying to go ahead and start doing that. This will be a style get ready with me hair and makeup featuring Original Queen's hair, okay? And Original Queen's, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love this hair. Great, great hair. And I'll, again, I will go over all the details. But let's go ahead and get into this makeup, honey, because we are looking kind of crazy. Your girl is on her cycle again, and she's working out. Just like, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. Oh, excuse me, moisturize my face. Okay, and today I am using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel. This is what it looks like. So I'm actually gonna be using drugstore products as well for you guys. You never can find something when you need it. So for starters, I am going to take my e.l.f. concealer, and this is the Cameo 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish, and this is in the color Deep Chestnut, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and I'm using concealer today, guys. I'm not using foundation. The only foundation I'm gonna use which is not drugstore, unfortunately, but it's not that expensive. And this is the Clinique, and I'm going to use this in a darker color. This is in the color NW, sorry, WN125 Mahogany. So I'm going to use this for contouring today, since I don't know where my e.l.f. contour is. But if you are my complexion, the e.l.f. contour, I believe, is in deep chestnut, or deep cocoa is what I love. So I'm just going to go ahead and conceal and y'all can just watch me you know go through the process on how I actually apply I'm not gonna do a lot of talking until I actually get into the details of this hair and we go over the final look and if I look this way I'm looking at the mirror if I look that way I'm looking at my monitor so bear with me and I'm gonna take the Morphe Brow Pencil, okay, and this is in the color Java. Okay, so this is in the color Java. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. You already know I am tattooed, but this is how I actually go in and kind of fill them in a little bit more and clean them up. So I like to work on my brows while this dries down a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. This is what I use to actually clean up my brows. All 
right, so I'm gonna take my e.l.f. blending foundation brush. Looks like this. Yeah, the ultimate blending brush, the foundation brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, blend out the concealer. And I like to mix my moisturizers with my concealer and foundations because it just gives it more of a dewy, skin-like finish. to keep the line a little bit just so it looks more like you just got them freshly waxed or something now I did go ahead and pick up more because I was running out on the deep chestnut elf but I also picked up a new one in tan sand um, I really like a really highlighted look with the very deep um, outer um, contour so yeah, this is Tan Sand, so I'm gonna try this one out today. It's my first time using it, y'all. It's coming out the box. products even the clinic is pretty affordable in my opinion but I'm just gonna go ahead and bright under eye so I'm actually taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the color light medium sand and I'm just gonna do just another dab in the inner part of the eye and this does dry down very quickly so you got to move fast and I'm just doing light take my Clinique again this is in the color mahogany yeah mahogany WN125 and I like that this has like a little applicator brush already on it so I really am just gonna take this and I'm going to go ahead and contour <music> I'm just gonna add a little bit more and more. 
moisturizer. the Sacha Buttercup, I have the Fenty, and I have the Laura Mercier. So I'm sorry, I don't have a powder that's drugstore. Although I know there are some good ones out there, but this is what I'm gonna go ahead and use. And applying it with the actual, um, not a sponge, you can do it with a sponge, but like the powder, whatever this thing is called, I forgot. Um, it gives it a nice airbrush effect. Which I love. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm bringing it up into my nose. And I'll also put it here to do like a nice little circle. I also like to put it a little bit in the beginning of the brows. So they don't look as harsh. So when you actually fan it off, it'll look nice and airbrushed. And I take what's left and I kind of use whatever I have on hand as far as contouring and getting some eyes. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lids. I think I wanna do a nice and warm. <laughs> and I let this set the whole time, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my oldie but goodie and cork MAC pencil and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. Make sure lips look like Angelina, like pouty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the highlight powder, the baking. I don't mind if 
it goes over the nose, which I actually prefer it. I take what's left and I put it over the nose so it can kind of not make the contour of the nose look so harsh. <sighs> Next time I'll be more prepared as far as showing you guys more drugstore, but the products that I'm using primarily are drugstore, so there's that. I'm just gonna take a dark brown, like here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do that as my, and I'm gonna smoke out my eyelid as the liner. And I have a thinner brush. I just don't feel like going to get it. So that way it gives you a nice smoky look, but it's not overbearing. Let's get into the details of this hair because I almost forgot doing makeup. Okay guys, so this hair is in a natural black, okay? Which it almost was giving me jet black hair, like jet, jet black, which I love. I don't even have to dye this. I was gonna dye it, but I don't even think I have to dye it. It's really, really full. This hair is 180 density wig, okay? It is a four by four closure, okay? So it's not a 13 by four, it doesn't go all the way across. As you can see, there's no lace here, there's no lace here. It literally is just like right here, okay? Which, that's how I wanted it. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC and Sun Power. That's what it looks like. My brush. Get my brush so I'm gonna go ahead and take this color and I'm gonna go ahead and do mine. This is like my go-to look. I love this look. I'm gonna put it across the nose. All right, so don't worry, we're gonna spray this so it's not gonna look all powdery and stuff. This hair is a four by four lace. Now, one thing I did notice about this hair, it is very full, which I love that. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my um, Maybelline, one of my favorite mascaras. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my little bit of lashes, child. I'm gonna put my real lashes on. I actually like to take um, the Multi-Stick Monochromatic Elf. And I like to use these on my cheeks as well as my lips. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a glow. We're gonna use London, okay? This is on my website. And yeah, about this hair. So, One thing I noticed about this hair is that the knots are pretty big. I don't know how I feel about that. It was easy to pluck, but the knots were a little bigger than what I'm used to, so you could really see everything. So you have to be very careful when you pluck a line, you can end up over plucking it if you're not careful with this wig. So just be mindful of that. Other than that, I really didn't have any issues. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, this hair, it's really really full just so i can wet it and put product in it and i can make it more of like a you know a wet and wavy look kind of spanishy curl look or we can leave it like really big which is actually what i'm going to do it how i'm going to wear it today and wear it like big diana ross big hair because i just love that look okay i changed my mind i'm gonna wear my other style here this is one of my older um styles these are not on my website, but if you like them, I can definitely add them to the website. So they're nice and full, but they're not as long. I think I just wanna go with this for today's look. But overall, this hair, 
with the headband um i think it's a great wig i really do y'all know this is like my favorite curl pattern like give me some big curly hair all day like <laughs> love that um but again i just don't like the fact that the knots are pretty really really big and the hairline it was not it says it's pre-plucked but it's not like pre-plucked at all like that hairline was full honey i was going to town on that hairline and it's just this right here and it was still really really full so just be mindful of that other than that this hair is completely gorgeous it was easy to pluck but just be mindful don't over pluck it um the hair is extremely full okay and the texture of this hair is water wave so this is a water wave texture i'm gonna let this air dry just a little bit so this is a natural i'm gonna wear it in this natural state okay once my makeup is finished i'm gonna pretty much take these clips down and i'll show you guys exactly how i actually style it and how i'm gonna wear it all right so i'm just gonna take my highlight here which it came from an ipsy bag i just loved it ever since i got it i don't know where it's from sorry <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and Yeah, this hair is in Water Wave, um, natural black, 180 density, 4x4 closure lace wig, okay? Definitely recommend if you don't want to constantly put glue, lace glue, hairspray, go ahead and sew a headband um, thing on, which it does come with. Okay, so this is the box that it actually comes in, Original Queen Hair, okay? It's a beautiful texture. It also comes with um, your own lashes, 3D mink lashes. It comes with a head cap, of course. It also comes with um, the elastic band that you can actually sew on yourself, which is great. I actually ordered a big roll of the thicker ones from Amazon because I just want something a little bit more secure since I'm going to be kind of just wearing them like just like that. Um, but it's good that they come with these. I'm going to take the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Illuminating Mist and Set and I'm going to spray that as well. Just so we can really get it nice and blended. All right, so I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit more of my London. And y'all, these gloss bombs are one of my subscribers and loyal OG customers. She is in love with London. She says she gets so many compliments on it. All right, so change this. Somebody talk about me. All right, so makeup is done. This is how I do this look, okay? And the, granted, I do move a lot faster when I'm not explaining what I'm doing so much. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take these down. The bigger, uh, the better. My baby is crying, so I gotta hurry up. I freaking love this hair. Like, 
I love how big and natural of a wave it is. I like that it's not too tight. Y'all know I like that effortless look. It's nice and full, very, very soft. It did not have a lot of shedding at all, apart from what I plucked from it, which is a shit ton from the hairline. So if you're not good at plucking, you may wanna, you know, get some practice in before you take on this wig because honey, it's you have to do a lot of plucking but overall i really really like this wave so let's go over the details really quick again of this hair this is from original queen's hair okay this is a four by four lace front closure wig okay natural black 180 density hair this was not a transparent um lace so keep that in mind as well um this hair is giving me black and it's in water wave 24 inches it's gorgeous i love this like I love big hair, like this is bomb. And then what I'll do, of course, just kind of just because you gotta be mindful, it stops here, so you really can't lift too much. But you can take some the hair to the side if you want to do a side part instead of a middle part. So it's nice and full love that so it's definitely true to density when it says 180 density it is it's not thin at all so i freaking love it <laughs> yes all right guys so thank you so much for hanging out with me today this is the final makeup look if you like this look comment down below let me know if you guys want to see more makeup looks um and this is the hair really feeling it so if you guys haven't already make sure you guys comment like and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell down below so you know when i post another video okay okay and i will see you guys in the next one all right guys <laughs> all right let me stop being extra all right i'll talk to you later bye